what we have here is the Red Honey HD 160 LED video light. Now I did get this as uh, an offer from a site that uh, I belong to that does, uh, you know, they offer you discounts for reviews. I did a written review, but I really like this light, so I wanted to show you. First of all, it comes with this crazy ball mount. It's this crazy, very thick, very, see it twists like that. It, you know, it's got a shot shoe adapter on the bottom. It's pretty solid. I, now I can imagine this is gonna wear out in time and start flopping, but right now, for the most part, it's pretty solid. Just a little different. Now we'll take out the actual light. It looks really good. The light itself feels very sturdy. A lot, uh, it's a lot more sturdy. It's sturdier than the newer CN160s that I have. Uh, it just feels like the plastic is better. Oops. Of course, it comes with tungsten paint and your diffusion, which I've already opened. So we'll put it aside and we'll put in the diffusion here. Now, what I like about this is. The diffusion is on the side, unlike other CN160s where you drop it through the top. And I do like this, it is very, once you push it all the way in, it is gets it does actually lock and get uh, a little bit hard to pull out. I actually have to use my teeth the first time to get this out. But once the sides start wearing down, it slides in and out fairly well. Of course, you've got your on-off button on the side. Now, on the back is very interesting. On the back, you have your battery indicator but you have something interesting that I found uh, in this model LED, and that is, get off the door, you have a Sony lithium adapter. Now, I love this. This is great. Um, the only problem is I use these bigger Sony batteries. I use the NPF970s. So, I'll have to pop these out and, again, contend with the springs for the triple A's, for the double A's. I want to see if I can find a cradle that will pop into here that is the same as the uh, NP batteries. And that way I won't have to contend with bending these springs, although the springs are fairly short so it's not that bad. But you still have to kind of... this battery is a little broken. Still kind of have to finagle it in. And then you can't put the door on because it's got these little notches, so you'll have to leave the door off. But when you turn it on, you'll see that this thing is super bright. I actually think it's brighter than my, uh, my, my newer ones. But as far as color temperature, it looks pretty close to daylight. It looks like the, the, um, the CRI is pretty high. I don't know what the CRI is. I will look and leave it in the notes below. But it doesn't look like there's a green or, or, or a red uh, kind of hue. It looks fairly solid. All right, let me just attach the mount here. Now the really interesting thing is the mount has another little plastic piece here and there's a little ring for it. And so you stick that in and you tighten it. And I guess that's for more stability so you don't just break the thing off. Don't really know what it's for. But uh, this is kind of how this works. It works up and down. You can turn it left and right. Uh, this, like I said, this will probably wear out really fast. But there you go, the Red Honey HD 160 LED video light. I, things I like about this, I like the side slide in. I do kind of like this mount, even though it's going to wear out. And I like the fact that I could get an adapter and then put the door on this. Uh, really bright for a CN160. It's about $29, $30 on Amazon Prime. And I can recommend this. Thanks for watching.